Hello. I'm literally posing for a thumbnail right now, my god. Ah! how I alter my clothes after I thrift them, if I do decide to alter them. I recently went to Village Valard, it's a thrift shop in Montreal, and I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, so this is the first top that I got. It's a little like brown, little top with a little, what am I saying? With a little button here. So it looks really nice with a bralette under. This one I'm not gonna alter because it's already pretty short and just really a cute fit. But yeah, that's the first thing that I got. Exciting stuff. Second thing that I got is this. Wait. This little pink long sleeve. Honestly, I'm sure it belonged to like a 12 year old before I bought it, but I love the, the little thing here. It's bedazzled. It's just so cute and so me. I'm so pink, but it's too long. So I wanna crop it and make it look more like Y2K. I learned that word this week. Thanks Julia for teaching it to me. So first thing to do is try it on to see where you wanna cut it. If you cut it pretty short, it does look cute. So I'm gonna cut it away. And that's another thing, I don't hem my stuff cause I'm just lazy and I suck at sewing. I actually wanna learn how to sew, but that's for another time. I think here's good. So I kinda take a, a picture in my mind. Um, here's okay, good enough. And what I'll do is I'll cut it and then I'll try it back on. Always cut less and you can always cut more after you try it on and you think it's still too long. All right. I've honestly seen so many people do these videos where they alter their thrifted buys and they'll hem it at the bottom, which is when you basically fold it in a little bit and then you sew it inside but um especially for this type of material i just don't think it's necessary i think it's cute either way so i'm not gonna hem it also don't really know how i'll show you guys this right away in the try on portion of this video next Okay, this is another shirt that is super cute. At first, I wasn't sure when I saw it. And that's something, okay, I'm giving you guys my thrifting tips. When you go thrifting, you have to look at all the clothes with a more artistic point of view. Oh my God, I'm literally what I'm saying makes absolutely no sense. Oh my God, I can't, I'm so inarticulate. Oh. Most of the things that I thrift originally don't look that cute but I, you have to envision it in your head and see how you're gonna alter it to fit you nicely and look cute. This shirt, like when I saw it, I was like, eh, it's not that cute, but I tried it on and then I imagined it cut and it's actually so freaking cute. So what I liked about it is that it fits super tight and the material is so soft. It honestly made me think of an urban shirt, but what I don't like is that it's really long. So we're gonna cut. Once again, like I do with every single piece of clothing that I buy. So once again, just visualize how short you want it to be. Always cut less. And we're done. Cutting this shirt was way harder than I thought it would be because it's a material that really, I can't even explain it. This took me so long to cut straight, but you see at the back, it's kind of not awesome. So I, I'll probably come back and cut it better. I'm kind of scared that it's gonna unravel because it feels like it's that type of material that would unravel. So I might have to hem it. I'm kind of scared I cut it too short just because I had to come back. That's why it's so important to cut it not as short as you want it to be initially and then come back and cut more and more because I think I cut it too short because I had to come back and make it straight every time because it kept like doing ugly patterns. All right, next thing. Okay, this one. Oh, I should tell you how much these cost. Okay, so I think the brown shirt was like maybe $5. The pink one was 13, which is so expensive, but I don't know, I really liked it. And then the purple one was $5. Yeah, that was $5, Canadian dollars, so. Quite the bargain, if I do say so myself. Okay, so the next thing is this corset top. I don't know if it's a corset top. It reminds me of a corset, so that's why I'm calling it that. It's this nude beige top. And this 
part is what I think is like corset because it's, it's like the back of a bra. This is how it attaches with the this thingy. You know what, you're, you're just gonna have to see it in the try-on portion just because I really can't explain it, but it's really flattering. I really like it. I'm not gonna alter this one just because I think it would look weird cut. You know, I do think it's a little bit long. You can just like tuck it into your pants or whatever and it's fine. The next thing, this is so boring. This was $6.50. $6.50, I don't know how to talk. And it's just this West Coast big oversized hoodie. And this one I'm not gonna alter either because hoodies, don't crop a hoodie, you know? Oh, this, guys. Okay, first of all, I found this in the men's section and at first I was like, didn't love it. This is $6.52, but there's this thing here, like on the shoulder, it's a zipper. So you can zip it down and make it flop down. And if you're wearing like a nice little lace bralette under, it just looks really cute. I'll show you guys in the try portion. And what I really like about it is that it's pretty long. So it kind of could be a dress. If you put nylons under, that's really cute but it's also just a big oversized sweater and the zipper just gives it that extra, I don't know. I just really like it. See what I mean? Like it's pretty long, so it could definitely be a dress. It's just like so cute. Love it. Next thing that I'm not gonna crop either. Oh, am I gonna crop this actually? Is this sweater, $3.99. Yeah, no, no cropping needed. This is kind of like ugly sweater vibes. I really like the purple and the colors and Montreal winter lasts eight months so I need as many hoodies and as many sweaters as I can get my hands on. It's ugly but it's cute, you know? All right, so this next piece. See, this is what I'm referring to when I say you see something in the store and you're kind of like, ew. I mean, not ew, but you're like, mm, I'm not sure I like this, but then <laughs> you try it on and it's just really cute way cuter than you thought it would be. This is an example of that. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's not, eh. I was apprehensive. Don't know if that's the right word. It sounds good, I don't know. But I tried it on and it's just so cute. What I don't like is that it's itchy fabric, scratchy fabric. But what I like, it makes me think of Halloween, fall, I don't know, that it's v-neck. And it just fits really nicely. I really like it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pop this one. We're gonna try it on right after. By the way, this was $4.99. No, that's already cute. Then I found this. Oh my God, this literally looks so ugly. Okay, I'm gonna make it cute, don't worry. It's like this blues blouse. Blues, oh monster. Can you tell I'm francophone? This blouse with hearts on it, it just really caught my eye. It reminds me of, <laughs> no, I can't say that. The only thing about this is it is kind of too long. Like it would be really, really cute if it were cropped. So I'm definitely cropping this one. Unless I tie it, but I don't love the tied blouse look, I'm not gonna lie. Mira, j'ai besoin ton opinion. Please. Do I crop it? What? Yeah. Also, I suggest studying the piece that you're about to cut really well because I just noticed that there's a thing here. So I definitely want to cut in between the two so that it's not awkward or actually make this round thing disappear and cut right on top. Does that make sense? And we're done cutting that one. I feel like, honestly, it would look much more professional if I did hem it. I just, honestly, really don't mind that it looks like I cut it myself. I cut a good chunk off. For the, some reason, it gives me Realization Par vibes, like the broke version. Kinda cute, I'm happy about it. That's cute, but I don't think you should have cut it. Can you cut it less short? Because <coughs> you're too sick here. Hello. Get cold outside. But then you're gonna be cold, like in the winter. Mom, I such a day, a little bit was longer, I wouldn't be warmer. Oh, Maybe. Maybe. Oh, do you have any girls want this or do I get rid of it? Like, I'm not gonna keep it long, you know? Like, oh my god. Okay, guys, guys, get out of my shot. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, last but definitely not least, this I was super excited to find actually because it's so unique. And that's something that I love about thrifting is finding unique, weird stuff that no one else has. And I'm definitely that person that will wear the most random thing. I'm trying to really extend my wardrobe and make it as unique as I can, basically. Okay, so this was $7. So basically, this is it and it ties here. It has like little string thingies. And wait for it, the, what's it called? The sleeves are open. This is so cute. This is definitely Reformation vibes. I have to stop saying vibes, but it makes me think of Reformation. It's so flattering and the material is kind of see-through in the best way. So this one, I know I want to crop because it's such an awkward length. Okay, yeah, that much. This feels like it'll be easy to cut. I say that every time and it's just not easy to cut. All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming this. I love doing like hauls and things, especially when it comes to clothes. I, I love clothes. It's like the best thing ever. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this and if you want me to do more, because I definitely love to thrift and to share my finds with you guys, especially show you guys how I alter them because I get a lot of questions about where I get my clothes and a lot of the time it is thrifted and it's like cut or whatever because for sure when you walk into a thrift store you definitely see so many things that are just not cute but what you have to do is envision it in your mind and think what can I do to make this cute that's how I find so many things that I love I know I definitely don't have the best techniques but it works for me and I'm gonna try to get better maybe you know what I want I want to learn how to sew and use a sewing machine. So I'm gonna do that. Bye! Oh god, that's not cute. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in my next one.